Today we need to replace ignition lead on CFM56-5B which belongs to A320 and as always I would like to show you how to do it. As a first we need to open funkos and then see that. So uh, Funko is secured with a key and three latches. Key is here as a protection against to forget the latches in open position, so you're not able to remove it before you will lock the latch. So that's why we have a key. Then we'll open the C duct. There are four latches, one in the back, one in the middle, and two in the front. For opening of the C duct, we need a hydraulic pump. And connection is down here. Now we just need to pump it up. And it's slowly going up. We have two different positions in which we can open C duct. Uh, in the first position, you can extend the uh, slots. This position, so we'll pull the pin out and then we will place it over here and then I drop the C duct um, but since we block the uh, slots and we don't need to extend them during the whole maintenance procedure we'll use the second position so there is more air and the engine will get colder much quicker okay It sits on, so we can release the hydraulic pressure and then we can open the other side. So as I said, we're going to replace igniter lead, right side to be precise, and it starts here on the right side of the engine, then it goes all the way down, and then it continues through the, let's say, firewall. Uh, into this section and from there it goes there behind this panel then down over there behind the starter duct and anti-s duct it leads our one is the top one this is the right this is the left left goes on the other side basically the same way so we need to start by disconnecting the cable over here, then slowly removing it from the each clamp until we get in this section where actually it holds thanks to bolt, which is there in between. Maybe you can see it, maybe not. Yeah, there it is, yeah. So, and then we will pull it back, remove all those clamps. That's the first part. And after that, we need to install the new one, which will be, as well, a lot of fun. So let's start. Okay, since all CBs are pulled, we can start with uh, disconnecting of the cable from both ends before you touch actually these components read the caution and warning informations in the uh, in the AMM it's quite important so it's how one we need to plug it so this is first one which we need to cover and I'll temporarily cover the 
ignition box as well. Since we're gonna install the new one immediately, we don't need to look for more proper plug. Now we'll remove the connector from the other end. First of all, air duct, which holds only on one clamp. Yeah, that's it. If you want to actually see the whole procedure, how to replace igniter plug, you can find it either there or there. I'm not sure now, but it's in the corner. The, the link to the video. Let's remove the lead. Start with the plate. It holds on a few screws. So it's not a big deal, but it is sealed. So, of course, we need to seal it after all. After we install the new. But, yeah. Okay, all screws are out, so we can remove the plate. And as you can see, this is our lead, this one. So now it's beautiful access to it. So just unhook it from the clips and that's it. So the hardest part at the moment is to get it from this uh, connection section. But uh, yeah, other than that, we can start with uh, removal of the cable from all the way to this section. Okay, we'll start with uh, removing the cable from the clips. Especially behind the duct, it's a bit tricky, but it works. from this section that's why we remove the cover <laughs> get easier access to it okay now we are free we need to remove the bolt over there and that way we'll be able to pull the cable out so let's remove that bolt I took quite long extension, but with that, I can go from the back all the way there. Let me show you. So from back here, all the way to the bolt. And it works. So here's our bolt. Tiny ring is over here. So this is how it holds in position. Thanks to this and that bolt. Okay, we'll continue with the two clamps over here. One and the other one, and then we should be able to just pull the cable out. Oh, see? Okay, this is the first one. Okay, that's the first one. Now the second one, which is a bit deeper in here. Problem is it that gets stuck inside of the rubber so even though it's loose it's a bit hard to pull it out of the clamps oh, yeah. it's out good since all the clips are removed we just need to pull the cable from junction box so 
There should be just one. Morning. One or two. Okay. And we're slowly going through. Basically, the part which we've been holding now is uh, this section. Through this hole, the cold air leads from the engine towards the ignition leads, which cool down the cable and, of course, the igniter. This was the only struggle, those two awnings to pull it out. But, yeah, it's done. So now I actually can show you, uh, this is the bleed duct of the cooling air. And through that hole, this distributed to our lead. So from there, all the way back, all then, to ignite a plug helps this air to cool the lead and ignite plug. That was all about removal. Now we need to start with installation. So first thing first, moorings for the lead. We need to lubricate them one by one. So both of them. Then we need to pass them through. So the lead all the way to the connection. So we'll install first one on the far end, then this one. So both warnings are on the place, and now. Basically, all what's remaining is just to push it through and, yep, do everything in reverse order. To the junction box. So, all the way through to the junction box, and then to the back, and here need to make quite hard turn it yes now we're gonna continue the same way until we got all the remaining cable through. Place the cable slowly in the place. Until we get to the point, we'll reach where the connection or junction box. So the just push it through <clears throat> yeah. okay it's in I'm not gonna install that plate before I will uh, adjust position of the cable so we will not gonna uh, over force it during installation so we need to be like this say now we need to install the retaining plate it goes from the top all the way like this 
and then we need to need stone bolt there. And bolt. Oh, the plate. And the dock. Great. Uh, from this point, we just need to install the cable on set required position. And yeah, here as well, in the old clamps. When we finish with that, we can connect it to the uh, igniter box and to the uh, igniter plug. So let's start with that. I started down here. I got already all the way here behind the MPS duct. So, and basically we are almost on the place. So we need to install uh, the silicon protection on the cable all the way back to junction box. And yep, then we can put it into the clips. These are the silicon clips about which I've been talking about. This is once again long and boring part, so I'll speed it up a bit and we can get to important stuff. Routing is done all the way down here. I'll of course uh, double check it before I'm gonna continue. But uh, since this part all the way to junction box is done, we need to continue from uh, uh, junction box uh, to the igniter lock, which is all the way here. So two more clamps remaining. Uh, to get a proper guidance for uh, this lead or this part of the lead, I will uh, install the cable on the place or I will install this connector on the place. So a new blue o-ring. Okay. And I'll place it I'll place it on, igniter plug, I'm not gonna tie it, I'm just gonna install it to avoid uh, movement, so now basically I get proper guidance for, for the lead and I can install it without single problem. Then the second one. And since igniter lead is on the place, I need to install cover. But before that, I will remove old sealant from the structure and from the panel. Then we'll place the panel on the place, screw it on the position, and of course, we'll apply new sealant. Now basically all that's remaining is just to install igniter lead on the igniter plug and to the ignition unit and then we need to test it of course. Okay, that's one. Now we can install shroud. and plug it to unit and basically all that's remaining is mission test that and that's only audio test so we need to stay near to the engine and listen Best place where you can hear it is here in the exhaust porch.
but it sounds as it should. Okay, the job is done. Ignite the lead is installed on Ignite the plug. It is all the way secured, all the way to the junction box. Then this lead behind this cover, as you can see, sealant is already tech free. Then it continues all the way there and we tied it on the ignition unit. Duplicate inspection has been performed by my colleague over there. <laughs> and basically that's all about the ignition lead. If you have any questions, please write them down in the comments below. And as always, I will try to answer them as soon as possible. As always, also I would like to ask you to don't use this as a replacement for the maintenance manual, but always use latest documentation released by manufacturer. This is all from my side. My name is Tomas. This is Recreate Maintenance with Zeto, and I will see you next one. Bye.